my name is Carmen De Leon. Um, I go to the University of South Carolina. I'm an advertising major, and I did the summer abroad in Tokyo, JF Oberlin. What factors influence your decision to select this program? Accommodations. I looked up, again, I did a lot of research on different programs, but more importantly, like the programs through my school, um, not any partner programs outside third party programs. Um, and a lot of them required you to figure out your own accommodation. Um, I always tell people um, this sort of joke, it's really hard to find housing here in South Carolina or like just as a university student, right? So how am I expected to find housing in Italy like by myself? Um, and the fact that CIS um, has that covered for you and a lot of other accommodations um, was I was just really appreciative that I didn't have to worry about that. Can you give some tips on surviving the first two weeks on site? I think find something that grounds you. For example, I'm such like a uh, schedule oriented person. And even though every day was a different thing and a different adventure, um, in the mornings, I always went to like a different sort of coffee spot or something, but I made sure to do that, to sort of have that routine part of it that was similar to back home, that I always usually, you know, have breakfast, sit down, plan out my day. Um, so find something that does that for you, whether that be like at night, in the morning, journaling, calling your mom at the same time every day, texting your friend, I don't know, something that just reminds you of home that kind of helps you transition easier. I think that would be the, the best thing to do. What was your favorite class and why? Uh, society and genders class. Um, not only we did, we were able to have like the students from JF Oberlin um, there come into the class and give their opinions on certain topics. So it was nice to get that firsthand account of what they think their gender roles look like. And then also discussing the gender roles in the US. Um, not only that, but because of you know my Hispanic background, what gender roles in Mexico look like. Um, and I think the nicest thing is sort of to be able to like look upon your own culture as much as I like learning about others. Sometimes they ask questions that you've never asked yourself and you just always go along with it and assume like, oh, that's the way. But when they ask you about why do you know women do this or why is it more culturally acceptable for men to do that? And you're like, wait, why is that that way? You know, we just we don't question ourselves as much until someone else does it. So if anything, um, again, I love the study abroad experience, but it really does help you discover more about yourself and your own culture because, um, you know, it makes you reflect on yourself, um, which I thought was incredibly cool. Again, I don't think I would have had that uh, foresight to reflect and be self-aware if it weren't for that. How are your classes compared to classes in the U.S.? I would say more participatory participatory and um, sort of diverse in a way um, because there's a lot of different people who are sort of interested and have come together to to pursue this intrigue of whatever you know country you're at in my case it would be Japan um, so everyone's really excited to sort of give their opinion about it yeah and opinions not just people because I think I'd like to think that my university has diverse people but I think um, our opinions you you get to grow and build upon different opinions um, and opposing opinions as well. And I that's the biggest thing, I guess. It's that it's celebrated to have an opposing opinion and you don't feel like outed or isolated if you disagree with the majority in the classroom. I think everyone, again, we came together and said, you know, we wanna pursue this. Um, so we're in agreement that we're gonna keep an open mind and listen to everyone's opinions. So that would be it. Can you tell us more about your housing and commute to school? I was in a single hotel room because it was for summer and I had my bed and even a little top stove and you could rent out things from the hotel itself and my own bathroom and that I will say um, my biggest selling point in Japan are the bathrooms. Um, the toilets are phenomenal. Oh my god, they have like so many different settings and um, so much privacy. Um, it was really accommodating. The staff were really nice. Again, if you, um, we had little laundry areas, and at times we didn't have a lot of change, like coins. Um, so you could just ask the staff, and they trade out your your um, dollars for for coins. Um, again, 
which I really appreciated that they, even though there is like a language barrier, um, at least to the point where I, I can't ask for change in ja Japanese yet, um, but they, they were so accommodating. Um, and then as for my commute, it was not far. The best thing about Japan um, is the transportation, the public transportation, like it's available to everyone. It can take you anywhere in Japan. Um, you know, nobody jaywalks. Um, because the rules are so set, but that means that that gives liberty for pedestrians. When it is your turn, it is your turn, and you can freely walk without any fear that you know a car is going to come and hit you or you, that you have to speed up. Um, I think that was really nice of a commute, and I appreciated it because while I at times did walk with my friends, it was just a good moment to sort of center myself before class or before the activity of the day um, to just sit on the train and you know see other people living their lives and it was really nice and it was really quiet and clean and respectful and i have been in other countries as well like as in new york i think is like the most comparable city to japan um and yeah and to see a to see a city that's more populous than new york be cleaner and more respectful was quite the culture shock um but i appreciate that that made me like you know uh, cement my values of you know respecting others and their property and their space and being self-aware of yourself you know are you being too loud are you chewing or whatever it may be what was your favorite part of your program i think about like the program itself cis uh was the fact uh that they had certain excursions that i don't think i would have gone out of my way to make they had um a kimono wearing and a tea ceremony and shrine visiting my favorite well, not necessarily my favorite. I think my favorite was the kimono wearing. But I think the one that I took the most ever, like, was surprised by, pleasantly surprised. Um, and again, I think was super valuable from CIS's point was the tea ceremony one. Um, only because as much as I want to experience the traditional side of it, just booking it and knowing, okay, is this um worth it you know what i mean and it cis takes the thinking out of it you just show up to the excursion which is really nice again i don't think i would have done it otherwise and uh, the tea ceremony um each little room has their own sort of like saying um hung up in the front and for ours it happened to be ichigo ichie which means just there's only one moment only happens once in a lifetime, if that makes sense. Um, and I appreciate it so much and it made me reflect that I have to like take advantage of each opportunity because it may never come again. Or it, And if it does, you know, I won't be the same person and it won't come in the same way. Um, but I appreciate it so much that I actually got it tattooed on my <laughs> ankle in Japan. How did your on-site director impact your time abroad? This is a, a culture throughout CIS is that everyone's just so eager to help. They're, they're there if you need them and they're not if you don't, um, in the sense that you are free to explore as you wish. Um, but if ever you need something, they'll be there, which again, I didn't need to call on them a lot, but it just provided a peace of mind, knowing that if you needed something, if something came up, if I can't handle it on my own, that they would be there and they'd check in um, super friendly. Uh, so I think that that was the biggest thing is they didn't even need to do anything. It was just a sense of relief that they were there.